Hello YouTube, this is the Demon Turtle, and today I'm going to be doing another Doom Builder tutorial. This Doom Builder tutorial is going to be on doors. Alright, so now let's get into this. Uh, I have to change some things from my last tutorial, sorry for bugging you about this. But if you uh, didn't have much on your previous map, just delete it. Uh, because I'm, under game configurations, I told you to go to Doom 2. Sorry, but I'm going to have to change that up. I don't edit in Doom 2 anymore. I haven't edited in Doom 2 in like three years. Uh, so I edit in ZDoom, Doom and Hexen format because it's so much better. So if you didn't have much of a map or you can throw away your map without any problems, do it and restart it in ZDoom, Doom and Hexen format. Now you're going to have to do the configurations just like Doom 2. So go to your tools, game configurations, uh, go to ZDoom, Doom in Texan format, add your Doom 2 WAD, uh, add your testing program. If you don't know how to do this, uh, go to my previous video and look it up. And once you have all that set, we can just go right into it. Hit new map, scroll down to ZDoom, Doom in Hexen format, map 01, make sure your WAD's there, and hit OK. Okay, sorry for all that, that was a uh, lot to take in, but if you have it, uh, now we're in our map, so it's loaded. Everything looks the same as last time. Uh, time to get editing. So go to your line desk tool, uh, right click, and move this around, and left click, left click, left click, left click. So now we have a sector, and now we're going to want another sector that we're going to be walking through the door to get into. So uh, I'm just going to put it right here, only 32 blocks away, or 32 map pieces or whatever. So right click, left click, left click and I miss. And see how I uh, screwed up on that? Now you can go into your vertices mode, press and hold right click on this vertice and you can drag it back in place. Easy as that. Okay, so now uh, you're gonna have to go down here and go to 16 MP. This makes your grid smaller so that you can um, edit more detailed or you can be more detailed in your editing. So now you're gonna want to create a door. So your door should be 128 long, like mine is, and it doesn't matter how thick it is. It can be 32. A normal door is 16, but so mine's 32 for now, it doesn't matter. And you'll see this extra vertice here. You don't want that vertice. So go to your vertices mode, left click on that vertice, and then hit the delete button on your keyboard. There you go. Now that's gone. Alright, so now that you have your door sector, if you went into 3D mode, you'd actually see that it's uh, just a path. Uh, now that you have your door sector, we have to start making the door. Now, first of all, I'll go to your things mode and put the player down, so when we get to testing, we can do that. You just right-click to put him down. Right, anyway, uh, go back into your... Uh... Actually, sorry, go into 3D mode for a second. I, I blanked out. I don't know why. And uh, if you see, if you try to scroll down this texture by left clicking and then scrolling down, you'll notice that these textures right here and here actually move with it. You don't want that. So bring this texture back up, or bring the ceiling back up. And now uh, click, left click on both of these textures. Okay, so first of all, you're going to want to go and right click on them and select lower unpegged. This makes it so they will not move when the ceiling moves. Because they are uh, unpegged or pegged to the floor, I don't know. So, uh, lower means they're on the floor. So, uh, also you're going to want to go to side depths, and now you're going to want to give them a texture that's like a good door texture. So I suggest this one, it's called door track. You can just type in track down here and you'll get it. Or you can go under the door section and you'll find it right here. So now if you click OK, you'll notice it's a really nice door track texture. And you can press C to clear your selection. And now, left click on the ceiling, drag it down. And there you go. You have, essentially, a door that doesn't work and isn't textured. <laughs> so now you're going you're gonna to want to give it the texture. Um, so right click on it. Hit side defs, upper, and give it any door texture. If you go to the doors section, you'll get lots of them. Uh, since we made ours 128 wide, this texture fits perfectly. So put on this texture, 
And mine's gonna be completely offset. There's a reason for that. Uh, but anyway, go over here and do it to this one also. Oops, didn't mean to exit out of that. Alright, so if your door looks like this for some reason, just hold shift and press R, and it should be fine. Uh, you can also adjust the door by using the arrow keys. And you can do this to any texture, actually, and it uh, moves it around. So, that's fun. If the uh, texture is offset, you can just move it back on set. But holding shift and uh, pressing R just resets the offset so it's to zero, and it should fit perfectly if you do that. So now, exit back into your 2D mode. Uh, now you want to go into your sectors mode or press S and right click on the door sector okay so now what you're gonna wanna do is hit new tag and you'll see a one appears here because we haven't used the tag of one yet so uh, you're always gonna wanna do this let's say you have like ten doors this tag will probably become eleven uh, but it's just the identifier so it knows what door is opening so yeah you press ok for that and now you want to get uh, you're going to want to uh, left click on both of these side depths. Actually, before we do that, press C. Uh, before we do that, make sure that these pegs are facing towards where the player would be clicking, or else they will not work. So you press F to flip the peg over. Make sure they're facing outwards. So anyway, left click on both of these, uh, both of these line depths, and then right click, and you'll get this kind of menu thing. Trigger hit player presses use so this makes it so the player has to press use on the door for it to open now go to actions and go to this pop-up menu now obviously we're going under the door menu and just for the uh, sake of this we're gonna go to door generic which is what I always do to make my doors so do door, door generic sector tag is one because the sector we gave the door was one so if we had ten doors and this is our eleventh door this would be tag uh, 11 so it's sector tag 1 movement speed I think the default or not the default the normal speed is 27 uh, so you could do 27 or you can make it super fast and do like 90 uh, I think it's a maximum of 999 but we're just gonna do 27 that's about normal and then you have the type of door it can open close it can open and then stay open it can close and then open which is if the door was already uh, really you don't use these two you just use the top two it either opens and then it closes right afterwards or you can set the delay for how long it takes to close or it opens and stays open for the sake of the tutorial we're gonna do open and then close so the delay is how long before it closes so you can set this to anything really uh, it's I think it's in ticks so 60 is a, is a lot I think normal would probably be around 20 uh, you can just fool around with this to make doors behave in certain ways or secrets behave in certain ways and then you go down to lock and this is if you want any key or this is what keys you want to open it impossible makes it impossible to open the door I don't know what that's for or all keys meaning you need all of them or any key meaning you need any key and just so on so we're gonna set this to none because there's no keys on our map right now now the last thing you want to do before we go and test this game to make sure that door works is hit repeatable action this makes it so you can do this action more than once or else once you do it once you can never open the door again and that's basically pointless uh, it's good for secrets or crypticness I guess but really just always have repeatable action on now hit OK and press C to clear your selection now uh, these lines on your screen won't be purple they'll be green uh, my color scheme is just different sorry about that uh, but if you go over it if you highlight it you'll notice the whole sector gets highlighted and that means this line death has an action in that sector so now go ahead and create an enemy going into things mode right clicking and put an enemy down here Oh, I'm gonna put, I don't know, a demon. And now we're gonna test our game. So, you'll notice we're in the game, and there's our door. So we go press E on it, which is my action key. 
and it opens, and then the demon comes in and attacks. But actually, I want to explain something to you really quick. So, if I shoot right now, listen closely. Actually, hold on, let me turn off my music. Okay. Listen closely when I shoot. Oh, actually, that's surprising. Usually, the demon would wake up to my shot. Uh, wait. Maybe if I shoot like this. If I shoot at the door, maybe. Nope. Uh, anyway. The demon would normally wake up to my shot. I don't know why he didn't. Uh, so it's always helpful to set the demon or all monsters to death, like I'll show you in a second. Uh, sorry. Uh, set the uh, monster to death, like so. And this makes it so he can't hear uh, you or your gunshots whenever you're outside of his sector. However, if you walk into his sector and you shoot, he will hear you. Uh, I think most monsters have the tag of death. Um, all my monsters in my maps always have death on them. I just hate hate monsters walking around without you uh, seeing them first, or without them seeing you. So, yeah. And just to go through a few monster things, you can uh, do Frozen while inactive, and that gets rid of their little walking animation for when they don't see you. Uh, friendly sets them so they attack on your side. Invisible makes them invisible. Uh, and Translucent is like... Spectre status, I think, whatever. Uh, and Dormant makes them so they will not even wake up. They don't move at all, and they w don't wake up when they see you. They don't wake up when you shoot them. Uh, the only way to wake them up is by flipping, or by doing scripts, basically, that says thing activate. So you don't need to know about that yet. But that's it for the simple door. Uh, if you know how to do this, you can make doors wherever. It's not too hard to do. Uh, it's really easy, and obviously without doors, your maps probably will lack a certain amount of flair that I guess most maps have anyway. <laughs> so, uh, thanks for watching this video. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching this video. Please leave a like, subscribe, or click on one of these beautiful arrows.